Well, welcome back. In this lesson, we are going to be talking about selection and selection modes and tricks that you can do with selection in object mode. So let's get started. Um, sometimes in Blender, you may think that you have your object selected, but you don't. Notice there's not this little line that's kind of highlighting our object. So we just click on that and you should see the line. If you still don't see the line, you may have your overlays turned off. Um, right there. So just make sure that's lit up in blue. A cool shortcut to toggle those um, overlays that I use all the time is Alt Shift Z. And that will toggle your overlays on and off. Uh, use that constantly. So go ahead and write that down into memory. We've also got it on the, on the shortcuts PDF. So your first selection is probably set to select box. So you can just click and drag um, a box and that will select objects. Like say if we didn't have Suzanne, we could select that. So anytime you see uh, these little triangles at the edges of the buttons here, you can actually select and hold, and that will give you a drop down of all the different types of selection modes. Um, they all do similar things, but they are kind of unique in their own right. And a quick way to toggle through these is just with W on the keyboard. So while you're hitting W, you will just toggle through all the different modes. So let's just switch it to another one, select circle. And so circle is gonna be similar to box. Like if I click and drag, I'm not drawing a box. You essentially have to highlight over the origin points of your object. So now if I click and drag, I'm not selecting Suzanne, but if I click over her little origin there, it's going to add her to my selection. And then when you select something, it lights up, but it also kind of highlights over here. And then now let's put our mouse over the 3D viewport and hit W and we'll swap to lasso. And this one's gonna be more for if you wanted to like do more advanced um, kind of selection patterns. We're gonna, we're, we'll use this more in edit mode, but you would have to just make a loop around your origin points in object mode. And then you have the tweak. So we can just hit W to flip to the tweak. And now tweak, I use a lot. It's, um, it's just gonna let you kind of point and grab on objects. And that's the basics of selecting things in Blender. Usually you're just going to click on what you want to manipulate inside of your 3D viewport. That's what I do. I just click on things. We will go into way more detail once we go into edit mode where the selection tools are going to get way more, way, 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 way more powerful. Uh, but just so you know what the basics are in object mode. So now let's go ahead and jump into the next lesson where we're going to talk about how to use this 3D cursor. What the heck is it? Why do we use it? What do we need it for? Let's find out.